you know on your on your socials you guys have those those groups of people or Everybody. those people that Everybody. are like love, love in the sun miss it's the like three sun days at the, three days at the beach I'm yeah, like bro non-stop. I'm like bro, a job? I, I, I cannot <laughs> no way you're gonna get me out in the sun multiple days in a row yeah I could do like once once a week is cool I ain't trying to mingle with the whole bunch of you know on the beach. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy the sun a little bit get in the water be a little dolphin and you said no beach volleyball mm. so I'm like if we're bringing in some some sammies some or some <laughs> too, and some weed and I'm very chill that's he that's said, a good vibe some weed in the beach the weed in the beach with some snackies dude if one of those Eat things Dorito is missing big booty. good luck catching me on the beach um, good, good luck catching me there. Have you, did you play the matrix game like the yeah. one that came out for PS2 yeah, dude. that was a good ass fucking uh, yeah. game be like, yeah. Did <laughs> <laughs> you ever play the wanted game? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, your, your character would be the like wanted game was the same shit, bro. It was like flip that <laughs> shit. And it'll be like shit miss. Yeah. <laughs> it's like where's Angelina Jolie? Lee didn't realize his mic wasn't recording. Um, but yeah. just a heads up. You stop recording. I didn't stop recording. I just didn't have my, my, my mic. It's been, it's been five minutes. Sorry. Oh, well. Curry Richard, future Richard, my bad. But, oh, well. But, Ma- Matrix is hard. Oh. Roll <laughs> uh, th- I forgot that this is also happening with my Discord. Just recently, it cuts off. That was a good screen grab. <laughs> that was, that, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> no, we were like, hello? <laughs> So, Richard and I, Richard and I both looked at like your, where your camera's at, and then we looked at each other, and then you came back and we're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, oh, it's been happening. I closed it, opened it, restarted. I should have reinstalled it, but didn't. It it's been cutting, cutting in and out. It oh, happens every now and then. Yeah, my bad. So we got a little technical issues, but. Matrix is hard. I would, would ask, think I would after ask, two years <laughs> we'd be good at this. This it happens. I would ask for help in games. Uh, I'm the oldest, so I would wait to ask my dad or go to my cousin's house and ask for help. Then, do that you guys remember the, the first game you like accomplished? Like you you passed, and you're like, what now? Um. Like as a kid, not like, really. What, do you mean, what now, like? Like you were mm. done with the game. Like you, you know that you struggled playing it and you got through it. Like you beat the final boss and you're like, what now? You know, the, you know what game that kind of, I kind of did that for, but I wasn't like where that, I, I don't know. It, I don't know. It, 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 I was kind of young, but I didn't really know what to do, but we, my brother and I still played. Um, it was Simpsons hit and run. Mm. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good game. I yeah, so we yeah. got to the end, and then it's at that point, like with any Grand Theft Auto S game, you just drive around and you fuck yeah. shit up, and you're just doing shit. So, yeah. at when we got to that point, my brother would, my brother and I, instead of like playing toys or imagination or whatever outside mm-hmm. or on our own, it transfer translated or you know transferred over to games when we is free roaming, and we would get to that point. We would pretend that we're in the game or in the car yeah. with the car or something like that. It got to that point. So uh-huh. that's what we would do. We kind of just had fun with what, what we had. Um, but whenever we would go to the swap meets or something, something would go wrong with a game or, you know, system or memory card after so many years or whatever. So um, whenever that would happen, we would buy used, obviously, uh, memory cards and stuff like that. So, uh, we would just play the games that are on the memory card and that's it we, we would play off of their save files but my brother and i oh. would we, oh, rarely, shit. we rarely ever started a game and if we did it was when we had like that's when we were kids um and if there was something new that stuff didn't start happening till i was like later in my like kid years if not early teen years when i started like 
you know, maybe I should start a new game so I could understand what the fuck is going on and how to beat this game. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a crazy a, thing to do. For a long time, we hadn't done Kingdom Hearts 1 from the beginning because we just, just had a save file on there. Where, <laughs> some yeah, from wherever they would get left. And there was a game called Mystic Heroes and it was Dynasty Warriors, but they're like teenagers or something. Yeah. And my yeah. cousin and brother and I would just play that game nonstop because the guy or the person had played it and got all the characters so we were able to just like dynasty wars end game yeah. basically and you're just dicking <laughs> around so uh, how we got here fun. i don't know but we're here, we're, here. But we're enjoying the stay <laughs> that's uh, crazy you you heard of that creepy pasta it's called the uh, ben drowned i think um, so basically it's kind of the same one? thing no 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 it's basically kind of like the same thing that you're talking about this kid gets a memory card for an n64 and uh, save files on it for Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I have heard about it. The whole thing is that it that it's haunted and that the spirit of this guy named oh. Ben lived into yeah, went yeah, into yeah. the game or some shit, right? Uh, it's like one of those classic ones, but I was just like, it's like, it's like bro, he lived this for real. <laughs> I did, but nothing ever ever was cursed thankfully. Uh-huh. We would just get chipped or or modded systems and just. Mm. Uh, copy them from rental stores. I remember when I used to own a Game Shark. I used to just fucking. I never did that. I never did that either. I just cheat through all my fucking Game Boy games. You look like I'm you. I'm like, man. I was like, fuck this. You look That's like funny. you would cheat on your I was Game like, Boy. Infinite, infinite fucking rare candies. <laughs> and just straight fucking all my Pokemon, fucking dashing to the game. I think I've only ever finished like. I finished three Pokemon legit. Me one, too. yeah, exactly. One hand, hand, like I could count them. <laughs> yeah. One win, one game. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, however, I beat red, I beat silver, you did live green, and emerald. Sapphire. And that's it. Oh, that's crazy. I beat yellow. Um, Was it yellow? Which one was Ho 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 was gold? Oh, it was gold. Yeah. 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 So red, uh, sorry, yellow, gold, and uh, crystal. I did mm. yellow, gold, and uh, what was what was the Torchic and Teach? Uh, Gen three, Chick- Sapphire, oh, Sapphire, Sapphire and Ruby, yeah. Ruby. That, oh, those, yeah, yeah, those I played, were the I, three. I didn't beat. No, I had, I had a. Uh, oh, and uh, Leaf Green. I had Ruby. So far, I had Ruby, and then I, I think I passed Ruby, but I didn't really like, kind of like do much. I just literally went through the game, and then um. I got leaf green, and after that, I was just like, "Yeah, my, my attention span for Pokemon's dead." I think that's <laughs> how it released, wasn't it? Wasn't it the, yeah, the original it colors? Order. Then it was silver and gold. Then it was sapphire and ruby, and then it was leaf green and fire red. Sapphire, that- Ru- it was sapphire, yeah. ruby, and the crystal. Yeah, no, oh, crystal okay. was uh, gold and silver era. No, because yeah. crystal, crystal, Ru- crystal was in the was in, crystal, in the small. It was ruby, and sapphire, and emerald. Those were the three. No, it with- was crystal and pearl. Yeah, crystal and pearl. Because it's the oh, it diamond. has what diamond, diamond and pearl has- is oh, the okay, fourth okay. generation. Mm-hmm. Oh, then I had I had one of those two then because it was the one for the Game Boy as uh, SB. The one the, it was already the thin cartridge, the little Ooh. small, the little, little rectangle oh, one. Yeah. Huh? Who was on crystal? Who was crystal? Like, <laughs> like. What yes. are you two? That's all I um, know. Who's who was on Crystal's um cover? Did you know that uh, on, like a Suicune. Pokemon? Suicune. Suicune. No, Suicune. Oh, Suicune. Yeah, yeah. I th- yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, because gold and I silver just, was just Lugia thought, like, and Ho-Ho. Lugia. I, I was mm-hmm. like, wait, wasn't yeah. Lugia wasn't was that silver? Lugia looking one, but that's Lugia was silver. Was gold. Ho-Ho was gold. Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Ho's cool. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I like Toho because he showed up in the sh- it showed up in the show and it, I think it's only showed up it showed uh, in the movie. Was, no, in the show, Lugia was the one that did the movie. Ho, Ho you see Ho, Ho episode one of the fir- of the very first season of yeah, uh, Pokemon right. ever. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and there's this whole conspiracy. The seen him? Yeah, yeah, there's this whole conspiracy that um oh the whole village the- thing. No, 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 no. There's no. this whole thing that no. apparently. Uh, in trainers in the universe if you see ho it means that you're like blessed or lucky or some shit so that's why people are like oh we think ash died or at least got yeah. into an accident in the beginning of the first episode um yeah. and then from then on it's all just been a dream yeah 
But yep. I don't know, bro. He won. He lost too many times for it to be a dream. That's true, though. I gotta be gotta be real. If it's a yeah, dream, nightmare feel. That dude took like that, twenty something years. Dream at that point, bro. <laughs> twenty something years just to finally accomplish something. Man, no has pussy. Been, man's has been ten <laughs> for twenty something years, and then finally wins at the very end of it all. And Is he's he ten? I thought he was twelve. <laughs> I think he's nice. No, twelve. Oh, is he twelve? Oh, he's twelve. Okay. I mean, Sorry, still, still, either way, he's been fucking he's twelve for Damn. twenty plus years. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's gnarly. <laughs> fucking um, but she was right. Uh, Suikun did come out in one of the movies. Um, it was the one with Ente. <laughs> I thought like, Suikun, yeah, that just, was, that I thought was, Suikun uh, just had a whole movie all, all, all on their own. No, I, I no thought. It's Suikun, Ente, and uh, Reiko who came out together in the movie. Oh, uh, that was... Yeah. I, I don't think that was immediately after the, the Ente one, when it, Ente first showed up. I think that was a couple movies after that, I think. Because the Ho-Ho one's the one where they gave you... So this is how old it is, too. Jesus. My dad took Jesse and I to my brother, my older brother. We, uh, this is before my little brother and sister existed. Uh, we went to go watch the... Um, the Pokemon movie, and we all we I remember we had a um a shiny not even shiny a holographic um uh Dragonite. Yeah, wow. Yeah, they gave everybody, they gave everybody a shiny Dragonite like as a like part of your ticket. You got that like that was part of the wow. like the things. Nice. Yeah. Where's it now? Who knows? <laughs> Collecting dust or in, incinerated by now. You could have probably that, that was probably worth money. Made, I remember going to the movies and getting a little like Mew slab, the like golden chip. slab, oh, or or getting yeah, uh, or I had get, that too, or getting a unknown um Pokemon card, Pokemon card, oh, yep. just a random yeah, unknown yeah. on it. <laughs> Bro, those are those are those are two different films. Wait, you yeah. first see unknown and you're just like, dude, this is the beast fucking mystery of all time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, no, what can I mean? Yeah, what oh, is man. this? Dumbass kids. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we were all nerdy kids, but either way, that was hi. Welcome everybody. We've been away for the past couple weeks. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's been well. Hopefully everybody's been good. Nothing it's crazy or hardcore happened in a negative way. If you guys, I don't know, had a promotion or something good happen, yay, yay, C- congrats, yeah, we, we stay up. Um. But welcome. I don't think everything is pretty much pretty much the same. We're gonna still be doing some changes <laughs> as time goes on. But um, I was like, I was like, they've been waiting three, four weeks, maybe, and they're just like, what changed? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing as of this episode. So give it some time. We procrastinate a little bit, but it happens. Call it a mental break more than anything. Honestly, but, it yes. was more of a mental break than anything. I know we had discussed that we were going to do behind camera talk about like what's next, but I think we all three of us have an idea of what that is already, but mm. it was kind of more just like a mental break from everything. Yeah. So that's uh-huh. what's going on. Um, so what we're going to plan kind of plan doing is just basically a catch, ooh, catch up. Of the past couple of weeks, there's a lot, a lot of different stuff that's been going on, and you know, you guys don't know what's been going on with us if you don't talk to us or check out the streams every uh, every now and then. So, catch yeah. up, um, yes, catch, catch up, Ash, so, catch up, catch up. <laughs> but, Get on my the... brain, dude. That's two. <laughs> what was the first one? Meth. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> oh, Chris, the crystal thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, a couple What's things. Uh, what is? What do we got? There's. We got Mr. B stuff. We've got. I look. You don't want to even talk about that, bro. Like, I don't. I don't care about that. I don't care about what's his fucking name. That uh, the the fucking pedo accusations. Or the, or the with the fucking Tana. What's Cody his name? Co. Yeah, uh, like all that shit. I'm just like, dude. Oh. How many of these are there? Like, well, that's, I, I, all I will say is that, like, bro, the amount of cancellations, y'all are staying busy with that shit. Like, yeah. damn. I think it's because of, um, like, our generation. I'd say that whole generation is just full of fucking pedos or whatever creeps <laughs> in general. Because it's, it's Jesus a Christ. lot of people that are getting out it are people from our like age group well, we, or age we, range yeah, or generation we up, yeah we grew up in that because we grew up on the internet and we were the first ones that kind of had real access to it to that regard and we're using it like that um 
yeah, I I don't know. People just didn't just didn't know any better when they were when they were younger to understand the warning signs think. and of like what who's a creep because a lot of the things that are going on are a lot of uh, people that have direct contact with people. But it was, you know, you're not thinking about the the like the what can happen. Not even the what can happen, but like oh, this person's well over fucking age like 25 or or 20 or whatever i don't know about you guys that happened to me when i was a kid so i just it just never clicked because you know you're just in that space and you're talking to anybody and everybody yeah what did did you just dump are you saying you were groomed um not by like specific people but i did put myself in spaces like that stuff like oh, that spaces you shouldn't have been in yeah yeah gotcha, for sure gotcha. or like say okay. or just when i was hanging out with friends online because i mentioned on here that i've uh um, i had a friend group obviously in person i had friends uh, at school and stuff like that and cousins i would hang out with across the street or whatever and we were, we were generally generally close i also had an online friend group um but that was everybody that was like 10 to 15 years older than me and so i I would be thrown into like groups like 20 year olds or like 18 year olds or whatever and i'm like or 20 something year olds i'm like in my my like 13 year old self or whatever hanging out with a bunch of grown-ass men and women and stuff like that so there were a couple times where i would put myself into like um certain certain gaming communities or certain like demos and stuff like that would have like a social aspect so i'd be putting myself in those social spaces and talking to anybody and whoever wanted to hang out with for the most part and that led to a couple of creeps for sure now that i'm older and knowing what happened for sure a couple of creeps and if i had my my old xbox 360 like mailbox or like kept those messages oh my lord sure there'd be a there'd be like an investigation done but it, don't have it anymore it is what I don't it think, is so. i don't think it's that people didn't know better i think people just didn't care back then because the access we have now to getting caught when that bullshit is yeah. so accessible now yeah so i think they were like yeah i could get away with this bullshit type yeah. of thing yeah exactly yeah. so i think it just you know too much power in the hands of the one thing and not the one other to do with yeah it. the one other thing i will say um this is relating to the whole chris uh ava whatever bullshit oh right. where he That's was true. like that also happened also. Where basically they were just saying like why was he in this group chat or whatever it was with uh with a bunch of minors and they straight up say that for the most part it was just like really bad jokes raunchy jokes that you shouldn't be telling to minors to begin with yeah but it was also plenty of years ago and i think about it i'm like you know there are I at least back then to that one i don't know the full details either but all I want to say is just like back then it really was just like the, as far as when it came to the internet most people didn't really care about age and most yeah. Yeah. we really just cared about vibe yeah. because yeah. it's just it's just people want to talk with other gamers essentially or yeah. in other especially, communities especially uh-huh. back then vibes were so hardcore cuz you would you're young or you're like aware that when you were younger you may have been chill and you hung out with people in that kind of aspect yeah. so yeah that, it, like richard said the vibes were just kind of a predominant thing and if any if if any kid or even if any adult was even the weirdest fucking like person just like by the slightest you. percent yeah to- yeah. so much shit would be talked to them they would be like just they'd be sure to be bullied that's what mm-hmm. happened so not that it was a good thing we don't and that we condone it that's just what it is I and that's it. what it was back in the day mm-hmm. so but the only reason i'm bringing it up is because uh i know all of us here have had kind of an experience where of like we've talked to older people um or even just people who were younger than us but obviously not in a creepy way just in a yeah oh they want to play this so and so game together. Let's joke around and just fucking talk shit while we're killing people on hot or some shit. Party chats and people inviting uh, friends of friends or a, or their own friend into the right. group was so commonplace. I think that's what also helps. It's Call with, of Duty lobbies, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. Call of Duty lobbies, and I think that's what helps with like people that are like how we are now. Why we are able to be so social and we're not like we didn't end up as just straight up shunnins was the fact that. <laughs> 
even if we were online, we were still interacting and still talking shit and still like being yeah. mm-hmm. product like social. That's the word. So <laughs> I, I just yeah. hate how like so many people have painted it to be where it's like I would never do that. I'm a fucking saint. It's like, no, you weren't. You were in the same bullshit lobbies that we were in. You were saying the same bullshit that we were all saying. Like, mm-hmm. I'd be lying if I said I didn't say dumb shit as a kid. Like, I'm not proud of it. And it's not something I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I used to say like, no, but it's like, yeah, I think about it. I'm like, dude, I was such a <laughs> fucking shitter. Like, I was such a fucking bad kid. Like, in one of our old podcasts that we talked about, I, I uh, Lee and I spoke about how when we met, he didn't like me because I was such a fucking shit kid. Like, it took a while for him to get used to me. Like, I was such a, I was such a like, <laughs> stupid fucking kid, you know? Shitter. So it's like, yeah, like, you know, I, like, I just hate, I hate how the internet's, p- like, painted it where it's like, and it's people in our age, too. Same, same generation, same exact age span, uh, age gap, where it's like, you guys were all in the same fucking lobbies. And if you weren't playing that, you were in the same fucking group chat at school saying all the dumb shit in class, mm-hmm. drawing dicks on fucking books or sending <laughs> stupid shit to like people like you were part of that group. Like, it's so fucking dumb. Like, I, that's the only I think that's why I'm like, I'm so over all this shit. Like, it's like, dude, everybody, everybody and anybody probably has dirt on themselves. And if they don't, they covered it up very well. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, for the ones that do. As long as you weren't doing on some real creep shit, like some real creep shit, yeah. then it's like, who, who cares? Intentions are always the key thing. Intentions it's like, are the key. yeah, there you go. If the whole thing was just you talking shit or you kind of being stupid, whether it's lack of knowing better or just all downright for a joke, at least that was acceptable back in the day. Sure. Yeah. But if your intentions were for other more you know serious criminal things. criminal shit then yeah no you, you, you there's no excuse but mm-hmm. <laughs> you spread up the drawing dick shit and i just remember just like getting textbooks from for school <laughs> like, <History> books, dude. <laughs> and just opening just, to <laughs> random pages it's just anatomical <laughs> dick yeah it's just, dude, <laughs> drawing it yeah People exactly got super bad good at that shit yeah, super bad. Like, st- like steve said don't act like our generation was perfect or like anybody was perfect we all went to the same schools yeah we all had a, basically the carbon copy of experiences everybody trying to make a burn book in their schools everybody calling anybody and everything under the sun people doing yeah. saying it to their fucking faces our generation not to be like our generation was different but it was a our bit different sucked. Like it like, was, it, we, we were still like in getting introduced to the internet. So having all that like little brain rot that was coming in to make us like just go hard in the paint and rot. like chats or just it, with people dude, in our we lives, got, to, we got like fucking doing it, it on the fucking streets. You know? so yeah, was, like, we, in the middle. And it we was got from, like our shit was like from like in the streets lingos to fucking watching real world bullshit watching jersey shore brain rot like reddit all that shit, shit like that all like the reddit it, all, shit and the all the, yeah like reddit early facebook Bro, my, early facebook and fucking what, what's that other one myspace um, no no, no right. the other one the other one Tumblr? facebook myspace t- mm, tumblr, tumblr yeah tumblr. Um, was it like tumblr? Getting all, oh. yeah getting all that shit and then fully inverse into the internet like Dude, Twitter was uh, Twitter was like was meant for like music sponsors and like uh, people to like people. Yeah. yeah, and it's like it became the most fucking pornographic brain rot place now. Like it's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. I remember, I remember when meme was starting to become an actual word because yeah. be- oh, yeah. before it's just like this page or some shit where just with, with these fucking symbols bro this is like so cringy ass fucking yeah. like looking back at it now it's just these <laughs> random ass pictures that people would take and just put two sentences max or whatever and it's just oh, like yeah, 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 like yeah, scumbag yeah. steve was like one yeah. of the bigger ones um socially awkward penguin shit like that it's yeah. like <laughs> that i was, was like what did you call me <laughs> scumbag <laughs> steve what was the that, raptor one right there uh velociraptor velociraptor with the They're fucking so claw yeah. i remember all of these bro i was so sucked into them i thought they were the funniest shit but i mean they had their Listen, moments but i was at just the like time, i they, can see that they were funny that's what yeah. it, it, it was what it was. Fucking the but, uh, <laughs> now, 
now we're older and as we've changed so has the internet so now it's just honestly it's gonna end up like cyberpunk it's gonna end up like uh blade runner that's just the world that's what's gonna happen i just remembered it's gonna be clean that's just how it's gonna be we had a fucking character named pedo bear (laughs) yeah dude yes oh my god i completely forgot about him yes people used to wear him shit i forgot about him yeah that's that's what our generation was so when so i think that's why we're also so like shuffle days <laughs> that's why we're so open to like if that's how you were back in the day and you weren't being this hardcore fucking creep piece of shit then as long as you're not doing it now of course perfect cool fine yeah. that's fine you're not affecting us and if we're if we know anyone like that i don't we don't in the first place i don't i'm pretty oh. sure well I don't even know that yeah, we that we happened. openly know about. I don't know, but either yeah, way, it's like oh, know doing creep shit. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah if we yeah. did know them, it's just like instant. We would not know them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Well, that's the thing is that um, what I'm saying is, if you were saying dumb shit when you were younger, and I know you now, who cares? Uh, yeah, I don't fucking care. Whatever. It's like I'm not gonna it's look long- at you and be like, oh my god, you used to talk like that. Like, no, yeah, yeah we, all, no. we all did. Like. <laughs> It was normal, like it wasn't a fucking as fucked up as it is. It was a normalized thing in our schools. Like, I I would hope that if I'm hanging out with you, you're not just going up to people and you're not just being a crazy piece of shit. Yeah, you know, dude. like, yeah. Damn. I think about it. I think it's you think it's more just because it's like <laughs> back in the day with the internet. Obviously, you had your social media stuff and things like that, but all of this really was coming from more of like the nerdy gamer kind of shit right because it was still kind of niche to be talking on internet and you know yeah. getting friends over internet so omega i feel like everything has just gotten kind of softer in a sense but only because now yeah. normie people who people didn't grow up there. in that culture yeah. are coming on here and just be like this isn't right or whatever we're, it whereas mainstream. we're like stream whereas yeah. we're like yep. it's it's mm-hmm. it's fine as long as you're not being weird like yeah. who cares yeah. like we're all just idiots <laughs> yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. the the wild wild west of the internet back in the day was quite the was brutal, dude. quite the space to be in yeah dude, um, i remember when my oldest brother fucking discovered um <laughs> 4chan for me i what did i knew you were gonna say 4chan Bro. and this is if you look at my oldest brother now he's like a smart calm person and he says some dumb shit some, I, his brain the fact that his brain just like is kind of like richard's where like it just absorbs so much shit and it comes out and he remembers it it's wild but i remember him being like bro check this out look how this works and the shit that i had i went through and i saw on 4chan as a fucking 13, 14 year old kid was not it. Like <laughs> this man saw so much asshole on the internet. Dude, sure. I saw I, I saw that. I saw fucking people rolling on like like it rolled dubs to like have me ask her out. Like straight out people helped other people fuck. Oh my like God. it's crazy. And then it then it got real brutal. Then it got to like the oh, dark web bro. shit. And that was like, bro, why is this around? Like, mm-hmm. like at that point, I think I was like 15 and it was still, it was still popping, you know? And like, hmm? that all like, all of that is still surface level type yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, dude. Yeah. So I just found out, I found out a few years ago about that too, where it's like, that was very surface level. The only difference was that it was available for like public, like mm-hmm. you didn't have to kind of go through it. Um, Cause the one that basically shut down 4chan was, um, well, I mean, shit, it's, it's, it's just very explicit, but it was yeah. like, I, I, I was never in that one. I never saw that. I no. remember seeing like forums of it mm-hmm. after it happened because 4chan like went down for a while mm-hmm. and it was straight out like, um, like some dude like KMS himself, like, and he had people like, oh, if you roll this, like, um, I'll like tie in a certain knot and like blah, blah, blah. And like filmed it, uploaded it. Someone, someone uploaded it within that. And then that, and then that caught the web and then like a few days later someone did the same thing but with a fucking a, a full shotgun it was fucking insane dude Damn. like that shit that shit blew up the dark like that side of the internet that's when i was like okay i'm in i'm i'm in a space that i shouldn't be anymore like <laughs> this like, is fucked my algorithm is so yeah. off right <laughs> I was like, Bro, my <laughs> algorithm was weird i was like nah i was like i just helped some dude get his first kiss why why is this out here like what Cute. is this um no but it- I, what 
the dark web i only learned eh, a couple years ago but you can't access it like normally whatsoever no. like you go on mm-hmm. google chrome or whatever safari whatever you can't you access download, it like, you have to right? download like a, like a special no 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 you need to download like a special um web server or like yes. server yeah. server. Right? um and then basically off of that you get like this whole kind of like different encrypted links and all this other shit yeah, yeah. and then going off of that is where you can find what you're trying to do so, yeah. you know, there's it's, things like apparently, obviously, you go to s- simple things like drug deals or like yeah. finding porn or whatever, things like mm-hmm. that. But then you start getting to the bigger shit where it's like human trafficking, fucking yep. m- murder for hire, things like that. It's like, oh, my God, this is fucked yeah. up. And yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. Did you guys ever see those YouTube channels that kind of like did it for everybody was like hey we're gonna yeah, we're gonna do the yeah. like i remember being like the top five most creepy things to find <laughs> on the dark web well it was like you could buy a wallet made out of human skin i was like what the fuck is this i was yeah. like what it's crazy um, yeah i think the from i kind of knew about the dark web not earlier early on but when i was in like school i knew about it i yeah, never I went to it. It in middle school i was yeah. so afraid of it but yeah, I I, did, I never wanted to fuck with it. And in early on, the basically the rule was you can't you obviously can't access to it. You do have to like use proxies, but that could be anything from like them showing you the way to like somebody showing you a VPN, all those different things. So oh you're my basically God, I have doing a story all those, about that. All those mm-hmm. poops. Mm-hmm. But um I remember hearing early on that once you once you do get on there, your IP address is being like not tracked by them, but just by anybody Anybody, yeah, on there. You're, anybody you're there, open season for it's it. in that space, yeah. And and so, you be, and you hop on the FBI list. Exactly, yeah. That yeah. it's it's any it's almost anybody. So, There's so all, you're have, guaranteed to have your IP tracked by at least one person, and it's going to be your government. But everything else, yeah. everybody mm-hmm. else, that's your fair game. So at that point. I have a story, um, and this is I don't want to like make it so long either. Just to like finish off this dark web talk. There's a kid in my school who thought it would be cool to do it. Found a way to get the torrents, downloaded everything, did all this shit. Two things happened to him. He started getting weird messages from somebody and then photos of like the outside of his house and like his streets. Like, yeah, it was fucking creepy to the point where like at first he was like, oh, it's someone fucking with me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, like jokingly, because he, he was he was one of those piece of shit kids. Like he was really like, I don't give a fuck, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to do it. Like, he's like, there's a bunch of cool shit and dumb shit there anyways. And I was like, bro. So he started getting these messages and it wasn't like uh, through his phone. Like he remember like getting on Facebook and then received DMs from like random accounts. And it was like, you have a pretty house. Like, I like I like I like the name of your street and it was Sick. like what the fuck so it got so bad it got bad where like obviously he told his parents yeah like, he immediately was like hey I fucked up <laughs> so they contacted the cops maybe like 15 to 20 minutes later um a, like a, a, a black sedan came out like uh and it was a detective and an FBI agent and the FBI agent was straight out like remember he told us like a few months after was like hey so you're you you exposed your your ip address to the world this is what happened they explained to his parents the dangers of all these things they're like you're basically like up for grabs for anybody at like when it comes to things like that like, you don't know who's looking at this his house yeah. was under watch for about like maybe a month and then the messages stopped coming but like it was it was like <laughs> no. like, like, like we didn't, we didn't see this kid for like a month like it was, it was bad. Like it was fucking like, and then rumors started going around school. Like, dude, what if he got kidnapped? What if he got sold? Like for like the trafficking shit. It's been. like, yeah. Cause yeah, like, hey, this, is around, this is around the time where like fucking every, like the dark web was becoming a thing and yeah, like it happened. So I remember like seeing like creepy watching creepy bosses in YouTube videos and there, I don't know if this is him, but there's one sounded way too familiar to this. And I was like, it could be. It could be because obviously they pull him for Reddit, right? Okay. Sounds like he could have. Um, now, like I, I mean, I don't, I don't know him like that, but like I came across like his socials not long ago, and like he added me and stuff. Happy kid, happy life, whatever does his thing. But I was like, dude, there was a point where like 
you could have been kidnapped or murdered you or whatever the fuck like yeah like part of it like you thought this shit was shits and giggles but like, i remember him coming to school and like he told some of us about these things and he also told us like basically like the cops came and took all his stuff like they took all the computers they took all of it uh they basically were like we need to wipe everything clean we need to make sure all your ip addresses like they canceled his internet the internet like provider was no longer existent like his address was available to like uh certain things like they basically had to like they almost up and moved because his parents freaked out from it because like i think like three days later after like the, obviously the cops came like the dad received a message yeah okay. and, he, and then yeah it was it was bad dude like it was bad like thinking about it i'm like dude i get chills thinking of that shit because i'm like there's so many creepy fucking people in the world right like that you like, you don't know mm -hmm. and it's like like you don't know like and this kid used to like take the bus to school after that happened he spent the rest of the year with his parents dropping him off and picking him up like that was it like it was just a done deal but i was like dude like he wasn't allowed to stay after school he was picked up on the dot like everything was like that but yeah basically he be he, he became part of the watch list his family became part of the watch list up to the point up to like the month when they're like hey so you guys should be good but if anything these are our contacts for this like well, you know i my morbid we'll curiosity is like what did the guy want like did he want to steal him did he want Bro, to kill anything, him? Anything. Like, anything. Well, that's honestly, the thing. I think, it's like, I want to know. I think, um, my, my, yeah, so my, my curiosity of it is like, what if he was just trolling the fuck out of him and be like, this is what happens when you try to fuck with people like, like fuck around here. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, you don't obviously don't know the intentions. No, yeah, yeah. 100%. Even, even if that happened, um, like I'm thinking about that point, because uh, I know, I always got to remember that you guys are a little bit younger than me, not like a whole lot, but the, not, like even the differences in like what was available because i was trying to think that if i was like super young and something like that happened i don't think if i saw pictures being sent to me of like my street or my house i would i would assume that that's like somebody actually there because i feel like at some point when we got older a little older but we were still young google like started having like street views or whatever so yeah. it was around that time i would like tell my online friends about it and then i'm pretty sure they would think the way that i am and i would say that they're most likely just pulling it from from like google street view let, send me the picture let me see it so i can yeah. tell you yeah i was gonna I say know, from from what i from what he told us was like these are images like from the same day like you could still see the same car parked in the same street like yeah see same, that shit same, like same time Man. like it was, it was it was shit like that like pictures I, that he received one of the pictures he had received i remember that he, he said that it was like from a side view of his house basically like from a distance mm -mm. but like he knew his parents weren't home from that photo because he had just gotten home i would and he was like oh i would hate to have to tell my parents about that Dude, like I, he, he, I would get in so much fucking trouble. Yeah, no, they okay, got, but like, it was like it's either you get in trouble or then you get killed and possibly then yeah, killed too. Yeah, it's like yeah, you yeah, had no choice. Organs donated and shit. Yeah, fifty k. That, that is, donated, that's, sold. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's really not really. So, with that being said, back in the day, our our behavior online, we were just unhinged. Kids. We were kids. <laughs> we had no idea. We didn't know any better. It is what it Stupid. is. And yeah, you know, it's not. Not to say that because we think that we're excusing any of this that is no, happening. Yeah, of course not. We're we're just aware that there was fucking weirdos online, and the fact that they're being exposed is interesting. That it's all happening at the same time. But you honestly, celebrities yeah. are transsetters. They set the tone. Once that that Drake shit started happening with Kendrick or whatever, not to be like that was the catalyst, but we all know that that seemed to really bring the the light of just exposing that kind of behavior or just started mm. becoming popular then we started having streamers everything everything yeah. it was like a domino effect once that started happening then everything followed right afterwards so it's the year of exposure again i feel like we had one like this a couple years ago i feel like we're having another one but this one's a little bit more oh, the, on the, the serious the, side the the cancellation season yeah i know what I you're like, talking about but i don't remember what the latest I the, think before was, that was I, oh yeah, I don't know what was before that. I know that well, it was were kind canceled, of the, it was the Me Too movement. Yeah, I was gonna say it was kind oh, of the well, Me Too yeah. era. But after that, since like before this wave of cancellation, that's going it was on like right the now, Minecrafters, right? That's yes, yes, yeah. it, was, it was the Minecrafters. Yeah, all the fucking servers. Yeah, um, yeah, the way that they were talking and how they were interacting with their fans. Yeah, once 
Colleen oh, yeah, that's happened. Right. I feel like we kind Minecraft of are weird. have been like on a little slope since then, but nothing, nothing to our core. Then once the Drake stuff started happening, then the st- streamers started doing their own how to catch a predator kind of stuff. Then that now we're now we're just Dude. we're going down the hill. It's <laughs> yeah, an avalanche. Man. It's not stopping. There's a weird video of I don't know. I just, I was brain rotting the other day. And I just came across a video of fucking Vitaly dressed like a fucking like uh, uh, a native person. And he like opens the door to like a fucking room. And it was like a guy who was a creep, basically. And he like they slapped the shit out of him. Good. And I was like, they like straight smacked the fuck out of him. But he was like, why are you trying to meet a kid? Why are you trying to meet a kid? And it was like, other people were like, wait, I'm confused. Why are you dressed like this? Like, like why are you dressed inappropriately? I was I like, just, this is so weird. Those videos, like, they. I remember talking about them when we. I remember us talking about them and I, I saying that. People doing this shit have to be so careful because something fucked up is going to happen. Something fucked up did happen. Somebody did get shot. And then another video came out, not recently, recently, but like I think in the past month or two months, it was body cam footage of, a of you know, police officers and some old man pulling out a gun. Like shit like that can happen and does happen. So it makes me think that all this like how to catch a predator kind of style of content that's coming out Mm -hmm. um especially from those guys makes me think like all these times yeah it has i feel like it has because i don't know they actually call the cops like the cops actually come like some cops have came and like showed up like they show it it's it's just that it's happened they're doing it so often and for them not to get someone that has a gun a knife or something and has like swung at them or gone to that point is kind of crazy and if it's and if it's legit if it's legit, man, they're fucking with with chance. They're fucking with the it's it's Russian yeah. roulette at this point, bro. Some motherfucker is gonna be crazy enough that says I'm not going alive. Yeah, they run around. With, they run around with like armed security for sure. Like they have that, and then, oh, which is like basically private security for them. I think. I think they're waiting for it to happen too. I think they're Obviously, waiting for that yeah. moment because let's be real, something like the that's views. gonna happen. It's going to be, yeah, it's going yeah. to pop off and, and it's it, terrible, it, it's but gonna it's pop truth. off. It's going to pop off like those people who were like doing the pranks in like the hood areas. Oh my God. Yeah. Damn well. And like, yeah. and I remember like the video, the video that went viral was like those two guys. They were like the two bigger ones and they, um, yeah, they got a gun pulled out at them and like the dude actually like took it out and pointed it at them and they uploaded this video. I was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Use brother. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, literally almost died. Weirdos. Yeah, man. Listen, if if you're gonna d- if, if for some reason, if for the for the folk fucking most random ass reason, if I'm recording something, we're recording something, some dickhead, some random ass Karen or whatever comes in and gets all hostile with us, and we're just doing our own thing because it does happen. People just get upset when people are taking space. And it's yeah. a little too much space for them in a public area and they just don't like it. Um, and it, it gets aggressive or it might get violent. It's something like that happens and we come out se- just semi or like semi scot free or okay. You know we're uploading that. That's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Even even if it's not for the views, it's for the Check this shit out, you See, guys. It's to share the experience because that yeah. is basically what the internet started off with is just connecting and sharing the the, the life experience or the world experience. And it's mm-hmm. like, yo, we experienced this shit. Y'all gotta trip the fuck out <laughs> on this motherfucker. But if that happens to us, it's like a oh, by happen chance, happenstance. Yeah, for you sure. Know? There's it's no not way we're us gonna go going out, out and way. looking for no. it. Like, no. yeah, because we're not out fucking with people like in fucking other uh, fucking neighborhoods. There's yeah. no way no. any three of us would let any but any any one of us do that. We would get roasted by at least one person here. There's <laughs> no way. There's no way. If I'm not saying something, Richard is. If, if Richard not saying something, Steve is. If Steve isn't, then I am. And it's. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. There's there's <laughs> no shot. There's no shot. Um so yeah, right. with that being said, recently just a lot of crazy shit's been going on the, on the internet. Um be careful who you're talking to everybody and understand that 
I don't know. I've made peace with how I behaved online. Not that it was super hardcore. I was Me just, too. I was very like, yeah, I was a bad kid. Lee had a lot of self confidence issues. I like some of my messages from when I was in high school and middle school. I was like, oh, bitch. I did you not. Nope. Stand up, bitch. Stand Look, up. Oh my God. I, I'd be lying Stop to you if I said like I, I wasn't in the, co- I wasn't part of the fucking, the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. Like, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I mean, participated yeah. in all that shit, you know? Yeah, so, same. Not Dang. like uh, to that extent, but yeah, it was shit was talked and things were said and yeah, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, again, that was, I get it. Context you know, and intention, it yeah. all matters. You know, you know what Richard yeah. and I've been experiencing a lot, Lee. Oh, uh, yesterday dude, we've came across not just yesterday, but like oh, for yeah, a few come- couple of days we've been playing again. There's so many people fucking f uh, f bombing the shit out of it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is happening? Like weird. Yeah, dude, like, like weird. Like and it's like straight just, like you know, we're just like, why is this come why are you saying it out loud again? <laughs> like, yeah, like I, it's like I got bigoted like people will say no matter what, but it's like, bro, I haven't heard anybody actually say that, like confidently say yeah. it like that, like how they said it. It was weird. How like weird. we were both like, oh, okay, like, well, you're you're getting banned, buddy. Like <laughs> I've the never universe, spammed the bam button so fast. Yeah. I will say the universe knows not to put me in situations like that. Not to be like I'd fucking you play do League? something. <laughs> yeah, but that's typing. They can't that's, t- yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. not the delivery ain't there. I'm too old to be affected by yeah. that. Like, mm-mm, sorry. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, the like this guy's straight out than, just fucking last night, especially like it was yeah, crazy. I, I just haven't really been putting myself in spaces where I'm, I'm on the mic with random people people suck yeah. <laughs> I just haven't had the it, bad and it's, to do it and it's weird because it's like of course it's always like the one shit talking yeah. to somebody in the team saying it Yeah, but yeah. no like some of them were like oh this blah 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 like he shot me it was like why yeah. do you talk like that like what the fuck like why bro like we were like literally everyone was laughing and having a good time he says it and everyone's like whoa alright buddy like we're done here like we don't want to talk people, no more at least people are saying shit yeah, you know? yeah everybody good. is yeah but at like least, it's just like, there's it's a reaction, so weird you know Mm-hmm. But, um, it's just weird that we've came across it way too yeah, often lately. That's gnarly. I know that. I think because I hope the community is not becoming that. Because I yeah. do play League, it is typing. So whatever you're typing in, if it's like remotely offensive, League will will stop it now. So for the most mm-hmm. part, people are just being um like snarky rude um yeah. when you're playing the game like, like smart you, ass yeah just telling you you suck to a certain extent but like you know basically saying that but <laughs> they like found in, workarounds. well not even work around it's just telling you you're bad in leak speak basically like oh i can't believe you fucking did this you see you blah blah blah, blah, blah. like it it makes sense <laughs> and, and it's offensive <laughs> in that space yeah so like i my reaction that's 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 the extent that it gets to you my reaction is always just like just to be a bitch I'm like oh you sound like you're really lonely that's crazy you, wow you sound like the amount I, you type makes me think that. no way no, <laughs> no way these boys are not I my could, thing i could fix you hell no <laughs> hell no if i if i if i meet someone and i'm dating someone or interested in someone they tell me they like league i think that's gonna be a red flag for me possibly so it's a beige one because all the league guys that I've met that I've had a an interest in, yeah, at the very least, at the, the very least, that mean? because every every league guy that I've met or a guy that plays league, um, shitter, <clears throat> not even a shitter, they're they're like shitter as as people kind of. The blinders oh, okay. for sure go up for people that I that I meet, um, because I usually if I if I've met them in the game, um, their blinders are up and the shit that they say or how they act. Full on, full on, or do not like. I'm not seeing it for about like a month or something. I'm just mm. like, this is fun, whatever. Crush, we're into each other, <laughs> and then the then then it starts happening, and I'm like, oh, hmm, fuck. We right. don't like you no more. Got, I gotta make. Gotta I don't want to play here. with you anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> if I if I can't bring you around my my queer friends and and or if the feeling of God, I'm if I. If I'm I bring around, to, you're gonna say something. Yeah, if I no, like yeah, if I bring them around, like my friend Liv, Steven, uh, David, like all my my queer friends. If I do that, if I bring you, and I'm worried that you're gonna say something, this ain't gonna work. This isn't gonna work for sure. I can't be friends with people that are gonna make like, or be with someone that's gonna make my friends uncomfortable. And 
if they're uncomfortable, I should be. And not to say that they dictate my mood or my feelings or whatever, but I have to, you have to be aware that your blinders are on for certain things. Cause at some point it's going to bother you. And do you really want to associate with someone that is like that? I don't know. Yeah. That's fucking mm-hmm. weird to me. So yeah, online, I haven't been in that kind of space. The most, like I said, is leak, but even then it's just like banter bullshit. Mm-hmm nothing nothing super offensive so okay yeah well how else have you oh, what wow, else have please. you been doing while we've been <sighs> on break because we never actually talked about any of that i mean uh, I, it, I was I gonna think say maybe, most part, we were just existing oh sick yeah i don't think I anything mean, super hardcore has happened summer is coming to an end so it seems like god plans are Still starting to style, kind of bro. Or like I don't know, social seems to kind of be picking back up. You know, I feel like during this during the summer, unless you're like a super like summer baddie, or like you, you lo- or like you love the heat or whatever, or you're about Nobody the, loves the, the heat sunshine. Like you you know on your on your socials, you guys have those those groups of people or, or those people that Everybody. are like Everyone's love out. loving the sun, miss it's the like sun. three days at the three days at the beach. I'm yeah, like, bro, nonstop. I'm like, bro, a job? I, I, I cannot. <laughs> I Remote could not. If I, if, even Go if home. I was work from home, was doing better, so, like physically, mentally, whatever it may, emotionally. No way you're gonna get me out in the sun multiple days in a row in the fucking heat yeah, like this. Yeah, I could do you like once, once a week up. is cool. Once a week yeah, is cool with me. I, could, what I've been I could doing. do it once every two weeks. Like if you want, if we're gonna do that, sure. But it's got the 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 vibes got to be right. The we gotta we gotta have like something chill going on i don't want to go one-on-one with someone i want to go with a group of people nothing crazy just chill vibes just my mind ties. Gaffs, but i ain't i ain't trying to mingle with the whole bunch of motherfuckers you know <laughs> on the beach. i'm trying to enjoy the sun a little bit get in the water be a little dolphin and you said no beach volleyball I'll, maybe a little volleyball maybe a little bit but I gotta, I gotta have some some beach food, some snacks mm. from like if we're bringing in some some semis, some bitches, or some bitches too, <laughs> and some weed, and I'm very chill. That's he that's said, a good vibe. Bitches and weed in the beach. Bitches and weed in the beach with some snackies, dude. That's the shit. But if if one of those Eat things Dorito is missing, off big booty bitches. Good luck catching me on the beach. Um, good, good luck catching me there. You pool though. I'm all about pools. Love pools. I've I've even thought about like, dude, we should just download uh, an app that lets you rent somebody's pool out. We should. That's what I'm saying. We there should is. download one so That's we can go thing. to somebody's pool. My my brother just mentioned it to me. Hours. I was like, how does this work? And he like told me, and I was like, he was like, did you know this exists? I was like, no. I was like, dude, people are making money off this shit dude, in LA. Like, I would love that. Sh- I love pools. My thing is, my thing was like I told him, I was like, I'd be down. I was like, but are the people gonna be at that's home? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, because are that's they? That's weird. One, are they at home? Two, can I shower? At, like after? No, you can't I, shower there. Then I don't want it. Do you I, have to shower immediately? I have after to shower after pool? getting out of the pool, bro. I hate uh, the feeling of bleach on my skin. I don't blame him, Kasim, but after a few brews, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Where's the rest of the alcohol? I'm, dude, after going in, swim trunks, whatever, all that stuff, coming back out, I'm drinking as I'm doing that. Like, yeah, same. I'm buzzed. Coming I'll jump out in of, shit. Yeah, but, coming out of it, and I'm all, like, fucked up as is, I'm, I'm going to change. Guarantee, if it's a party vibe or, like, a kickback vibe, I'm party. going back in that bitch yeah. fully closed still. Like, I'm... I don't you, know about that part. Yeah, no, yeah, straight up. <laughs> I am I am fucked you, up. You lost if, me there. No. Nope. So <laughs> if, if I'm fucked up and there's anybody in the pool and I'm and I'm oh, feeling shit. the vibes or shit and my clothes are changing is not an option, I'm going back in that bitch. That Fully it, dressed? Yep. This man's a menace of society. It is what it is. I'm getting in there and I want to relax and I want to drink and I want the vibes to just never end. You're going to have squishy shoes. <laughs> no, no, no. That, those come off. Those come off. I, the I, dogs are out? No, bro. No, yeah, fuck the yeah. squishy shoes. Wet ass underwear? You got to yep. be wearing that the rest of the day? Oh, God. Are your jeans on? I take multiple pairs when I go to the pools. I take a backpack for changing. I am that person. Even like if I'm going to. Uh, I mean, I won't dress until back, I'm dry. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm changing. Mm-hmm. So I have multiples. I for just for that occasion because I know, I know myself. I will get fucked up. All right, and I will do that. So come prepared. 
Come prepared for the summer because or the summer will, will, be ca- will smack you in the face. Also, just be careful drinking around the pool. Don't want to be that one guy who drowned in the pool because <laughs> you drank too many Mark's heart. Mike's heart. That's true. Moron. Don't be don't be an embarrassment. <laughs> Spe- oh, speaking of drinking because I did pool. We we should go out. Okay. Not, not like like to go drink. Yeah, we haven't done that in a little bit. Just okay. A bar yeah. or, or out to eat or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, we should just do that. I've been I've been in the mood for a little summer night drinking. Yes. Okay. We cool. could do like a round one. We could go to a bar. We could do that barcades. We we'll want to keep about, it within our our space. Yeah, we'll talk about fun. this off. <laughs> well, we'll plan it out. But we will probably <clears throat> film some shit, and we'll you'll see it. Uh, yeah, to involve it in the stream, everybody should. Summer's coming to an end either way. Um, it's try to get you got the your bitch go to the beach. It's <laughs> it's either super hot where you're at, but the nights are pretty pretty chill, or they're you know doable. They're so to cool out. Yeah, so the best time to go out is at night during the summer because it's not too hot, it's not too cold. You can be in the middle, and mm-hmm. uh, you can have some fun and make some good memories if you're of age and responsible. Be responsible. Or good memories without any of that stuff. Yeah. It'll just I'm be just, a little less, more boring, but you know. <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. Crazy. Uh, I'm just saying responsible. I need fun alcohol to have because fun. We, yeah. we are planning it. So, you know, just so you guys are included in that plan. Yeah. But yeah. With all that being said, we're going to be ending it. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We're going to be going to the last portion of our of the podcast where we recommend things, whether it be music movies games whatever it's been two <laughs> weeks like, we've doing? done a bunch of shit and yeah good matrix go richard oh okay uh two songs i will recommend the first one is already really popular so if you haven't heard it listen to it it's called naive by the kooks very famous band i've just been obsessed with it pretty good fucking song um okay. <laughs> Kooks is spelled with a K by the way. K O O K S. Um Yeah, it's a good good summer song too, I'd say so. Yes. And then second song, it's called People Everywhere Um Still Alive by Krangbin. K H R U A N G B I N. This is more psych kind of funk. Um, it's all pretty much instrumental except for like the last part. They just keep repeating staying alive or still alive or some shit like that. What it's was the good. second song again? People Everywhere. Everywhere. Parentheses okay. Still Alive by Krangbin. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like pretty much just all instrumental psych funk type feel. It's nice. all it's a good song. I w- I was still on the first one, and I do know that song. That is a good song. You yeah. guys should should listen to it. Both mm-hmm. the songs are good. Okay, and then, nice. uh, final words. Oh, stay away from minors. You're weird. As minors, stay away from anyway. grown up places. <laughs> um, what's it called? And someone has to tell you you're weird for that. Yeah. Um. What's it called? I'm working on music again. I have so far finished one song. I have another one that's almost done. And I have like three it's rough good. ideas for the other ones. But I I'm looking to hopefully release good, that by hopefully November. May- I might put out a single by the end of the month or something. So, yeah and then that's it oh one more thing as far as like staying safe type of shit uh this is for the girlies because i know that the girlies like uh decorating their cars a lot just be careful over decorating to the point where people could tell a, you know can assume that a girl is- drives the car because apparently that's what be well, you know, creeps like to do. They'll go into a parking lot and they'll look, look, see whose cars. They'll see like, oh, this obviously belongs to a girl or something, and then they'll 
they'll wait till you come back to your car. So it's a tactic. Just be vigilant. Always keep an eye on your surroundings and uh, yeah, maybe uh, have pepper spray or some shit. I don't know. Be safe and prepared. Mm -hmm. That's all Good. I got. Cool. Steve. <laughs> Uh, I got two songs. Uh, the first Tucson? one is no, nah, that's a that's a car. <laughs> it's a place. <laughs> What's yeah. your first song? Um, it's been uh, I mean, he's been making a fucking album. He's dropping another song. But at this point, Duke needs to drop the album already. Um, uh, guy for that by Post Malone. Uh -huh. with yeah, with Luke Combs. For me, Luke Combs. <laughs> What'd you say? I said not for me. Oh, because it's country. Yeah, it's country. Oh, you is know it? what I also learned? Yeah, I also because he's dropping a country album, <laughs> um, which is amazing because Pour why me not? A dream it's fucking by, with Blake Shelton. That's so funny. Dude, they're all they're all great. This country music line, this country lineup has been great. So like each one, banger. I read a comment and it was very true to people where it's like. They're like, How can you do shy up? Him doing his little country twang. Oh yeah, my god, dude, that's I'm so telling funny. you. Plus one just got better. Oh, so I think Posty's uh, so cute. I want to give him a big hug and hang out with him for so video adorable. games. He's such a cutie. Uh, I read a comment when people were like, obviously talking about country music, right? And they're like, oh, people are like, oh, people hating on Post Malone because he's making a, a country album. They're like, couldn't be me. And then they make a whole like montage dance video for like the song. But one of the one of the comments was like, uh, I read was and it was like the most liked. They're like, uh, like me growing up is realizing like I've been country's biggest hater when I was younger, and now I, I he's like now I'm against all the haters. I'm like, yeah, I used to hate it too. Now I bump this shit, and I'm like. Okay, he has a song with Tim McGraw coming out. You know how fucking crazy that how is. Cute. He has a Dolly Parton. He has a, a Dolly Parton song coming out too. How cute, yeah, dude! Yeah. That, make an album. To put the album yeah. out. That's so yeah, cute. The album comes out next week. Oh, how cute! Yeah, yeah. that's so, so awesome. I'm, I'm so stoked for it. Uh, another cool. one that's just kind of spinning around <laughs> the show internet. Show to my dad and be like, "You listen to this shit, my boy." <laughs> <laughs> what Hold you know on. about this? My, nothing. My dad, my dad, and my mom like country, so that's why oh, I'm okay. like, I don't yeah, hate I don't it. Like it. I just don't actively listen to it. So listen yeah. to this, like, oh, I've, how cute. I think I think Post Malone would be a nice little dive for people who don't listen to country to get into mm. some country. Mm -hmm. but I like country. I I've been bumping country for for like a, a little over a year now. Like I'm you like. Have. I like this. I He's like a this. little partner with his <sighs> hit. He needs to have. She gets even hot. And just like that, don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I don't need a hat. Just get a trucker hat, dude. <laughs> that works you know, too. You know, like you know, like all the like the little like Hispanic boys wear the the one with the little snake. I just get one with the, with an eagle. <laughs> Same yeah. difference. Just What's your second compound. song? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like please keep going Jeez. Uh, and then the, the second song um it's been spinning on the internet it's not on it's not on uh spotify yet um but it's uh birds of a feather from billy eilish uh -huh. she made it she did her live performance on amazon oh i have seen that it's I have so seen that. good it is good so that, good that girl so can it's, sing. it's spinning it's spinning on the internet again people so are good. like i'm seeing so many people like like people and i think this is more like i think like richard's space like um and i seen a lot of comments of being like it, it they're like it sucks that like i'm human and i can't appreciate music the way these people do and it's like you can see people's like like natural emotions come out listening to songs mm. so like some people are like joyful and tearful some people are like really into it like you can tell like you can tell the joy coming out of people like as they're like slowly progressing through her songs or like through music in general mm. so i'm like the, the people who like are really deep in music for that i'm like yeah i'll never understand that i was like maybe richard will but I was like, I don't, I was like, as much as I would love to, I was like, I, I'm not like, they listen to like how she sings, not the, not the words and like the, the, how the music like changes and like, um, the different, um, what are they called? Uh, the verses. Yeah. Um, the version, the, 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 the verses that come like through. Mm. So it's like all that stuff. And I'm like, okay. I like listening mm. to people that are like, uh, music reactors specifically i like reaction yeah. stuff so i, I like, like music I, reactions i like listening to people that that are listening to the artists that i like for the first time there's this duo they're like a dad and a dad and son duo and they reacted to chapel roan's album um 
so good. Up, I love, alarm. I loved watching them react to it. They're just, just a couple of just chill dudes, and I, I can, I can no, see them I, being really good, having a really good relationships. So it was really cool watching them react to it yes. for the first time. I'm watching it for the first time. Um, so far, like the only thing that I will say that it's like, it's so fucking cool. Like honestly, when you sing. Obviously, she has her backup singers, but they're mm-hmm. all doing the same thing. It's like a choir. Singing yeah. in a choir is so fucking powerful, bro. It it honestly it 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 hits your emotions because it's just yeah. like everybody is has to be like in this perfect kind of harmony. It's, Sync and what especially when it clicks, like you feel that shit. You're you're just like, oh my god, the like flow state. The, yeah, the essentially, it just it feels so great. Yeah, cool. Yeah, but yeah, this song for sure. Like, I mean, I anytime it plays when I'm either driving or at the gym, it plays. I don't skip. Like, this is this is a song that for sure, like, she's gonna be 35 singing this shit, and people are gonna be like, yeah, it just got even better. They're like, the song's gonna turn to wine. I was like, yeah, probably. Like, it's a good song. But yeah, um, what's her name? Chaperone. She's been like blowing up even more. Like I saw just because so a little good. bit of country, Noah Khan was like, uh, they were at Lollapalooza together. Yeah. And he, yeah. he was like, I'm performing. He's like, I'm headlining, but I'm really here for her. And he did her little and dance. I dance. was like, that's cute. Bro, I was like, that's cute. Her manifestation power. She is, she is your artist's favorite artist. I can guarantee whoever you listen to either they love her or they respect what she's doing. She's, yeah. she's super cool. She's love, fun. love her pop. Don't be fucking creepy with her. She's not pushing any of her stuff out anymore because people are being fucking weird with her fans and people are like trying to be stocky weird with her or like are being really fucked up and uh, harassing her family. And she's even said that she told herself when she was younger, when she would get to that point, she would stop. She would stop doing music. And because that stuff is happening, she's pulling back all a lot of her projects and pushing them down. So they're not coming out. She's not doing all this crazy shit. She's like. She's being a little bit more niche. Luckily, in my space, she's doing like podcasts, but like Drew Afwalo, Cable stuff, stuff. I can't remember Cable's last or Caleb's last name, and, and Brittany. That kind of space. She's still fucking around in that area, but I feel like that's where she kind of wanted to float. But since she's so mainstream now, people are being fucking weirdos. Don't be weirdos on the internet. We the entire podcast has been about that, and that's what the internet's been about. Stop being weird. Holy shit. You're ruining yeah. my my experience with my my fucking pop queen. I love Chapel. She's fucking awesome. I agree to an extent. It's the same kind of concept that it comes with the fame. Well, unfortunately, well, right. I'm like mm. the only the main thing that I remembered was Kurt Cobain because that was his big thing too. Is that when he became popular, you know, the fucking fame and people just constantly kind of being around you, like watching everything you do, it can get to you. But you know it. As a, as a musician, artist, whatever it is that you do, you're kind of like, yeah, you're doing it in a sense to kind of put it out there just to express yourself in a way. But you also have to be conscious of the fact that people, if people fuck with your shit, they're going, you're going to get that popularity no matter what you do. So mm-hmm. I understand her being kind of like, oh, d- yeah, fucking creeps. Don't don't be trying to get into her personal life or yeah. anything like that. But at the same time. She can't be too mad that yeah, people no, are interested, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I think that's why she's still, she is still putting herself out there. She is doing, like, you know, podcasts, press tour, things like that. So that is yeah. happening, but it's, uh, she has put, like, the brakes. She's slowing down the, the train because it, it was snowball and pretty hardcore. Her fucking sets, the size of her audience for her fucking sets now are crazy. I fucking yeah, love it. And it's so cute to see her audience just, like, all the fucking splashes of pink, and that's, like, her thing with her album, like, just... Ah, it's so cool. I love it. It's it's really cool. I like I like Chapel. She's super awesome. But yeah, I yeah. feel like. uh, And then final remarks. Uh, yeah, summer's coming to an end. Do something fun. Be safe. Watch your surroundings. There's creeps. Um, be aware of who you're talking to online. Don't you hear give Thor. out personal information. <laughs> you hear Thor barking. Mm-hmm. He's just, just barking at the wind at this point. Um, but yeah, I know and those, are, there. those are his final remarks, so you know, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all I got today. <laughs> cool, his, his final remarks fuck up your local birds. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, don't say that because he's done it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hi, guys. Um, so for my music, it's gonna be 
um we just talked about it. it's gonna be uh guess uh by charlie xcx featuring billy oh, eilish that song just dropped no it's so good it's such a good song in the music yeah. video billy's hot but charlie's like, hey, hot. She's a, oh like, that's what this song is lesbian it's, it, yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah. i love it man she said i'm queer so fuck and i said yes it's so good lesbians are having a good i feel like lesbians are having a good time it's it's, yeah, I'm sure it's good are. it's fun it's a good song it's super fun don't take it seriously whatsoever i hate people's like this song it's just the same thing i'm like yeah but that's the fun part it's just meant to be like super fucking blah like it's about her saying i'll eat her pussy because she likes dudes yeah dude fucking you it's about head the charlie is hot so yeah it's just about head i <laughs> i heard this part head. and uh somebody was like in the part where she's like try it bite it but 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 yeah i was just like and somebody was like oh, they just stole this from that one song the like, technologic uh, i'm like yeah I'm like no shit <laughs> like it's a fucking yeah. It's a reference. Obviously. It's an homage to it. Yeah, anything. exactly. I fucking love and it's, it. It's, yeah, it's, it it's hits. Dope. Yeah, exactly. It, it's all. It's honestly almost the be- like almost the best part of the song because they both get get that kind of delivery, but both are doing it with different lyrics. And but Billy ate that shit up, my guy. Oh my god, she ate that shit up. It's so good. So Charlie that's, makes so hot. that's the first song, <laughs> and then the second song is. Uh, different vibe but it's i think it's still pretty good it's uh black friday in parentheses pretty like the sun by lost frequencies and tom odell um it's very like late night summer just vibey kind of music or whatever you sure no <laughs> when i met you in the summer wait that's not him <laughs> <laughs> that's not i don't know that's why guy, i know i started thinking of like more electronic music he said summer so that triggered that song i don't know oh this is like oh this song the, this is a, a remix of this song, this um, song i think it's of... pretty like the sun or black friday either one um there's I'm pretty sure original, pretty like the sun is the original one right there's an original and then um then i forget i forget which one did the original i think it was Lost Frequencies that did the original, and then Tom O'Dell is the DJ that came in and added the remix yeah. type of vibe that, that the song's delivering. Yeah, yeah, Black Sun is the original one. Yeah. Or and Black then, Friday. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, Black Friday is the original one, which is just Tom O'Dell, and then Lost Frequencies is the other one, I guess? I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, but it's a good song. Nice and cute. Good little vibe. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Very, so those, very those, are my, those are my song recommendations. Um, as for final regards, yeah, um, have fun, be chill, be aware of your surroundings, like always. Um, the fuck you for this episode's gonna be the heat. It's mm. the summer. Don't be surprised. It deserves it. Fuck the and sun. And fuck the sun. Um, and I uh-huh. think that's kind of about it. Nothing else has really happened. Oh, yeah. go see Deadpool Wolverine. Good movie. Good, Good movie. movie. Super fun. Movie. It, it apparently broke the record for highest grossing R-rated movie. And then oh, yeah. The one that held it before, Passion of the Christ, yep. for the past 20 years. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. Dude, fucking Deadpool Wolverine of stage Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's Marvel Jesus, dude. That Fuck is yeah. Marvel is. Jesus. Dude, yeah. Marvel Jesus of stage regular Jesus. I love it. I'm oh, sorry, but, um, Christians. <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> anyways, I was like, yeah, take it back. Go anyways, fucking. we hope you guys have a good rest of your day, week, or year. I don't know. Um, and okay. we're back. So we'll see you guys next week, hopefully with some changes. As time goes on, you'll be seeing some changes here and there, and it'll be cool. It'll be fun. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a good time. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe ring the bell as well so you guys know when we're uploading anything from these episodes to any other episodes or shorts or whatever um follow us down on all our socials down below in the description and uh share with people help Mm -hmm. us spread the word um we're your favorite addiction and we should be somebody else's addiction puff puff pass don't be a hog a dick in uh 
stick in you. Meth. Bye bye. <laughs> you guys are weird. No, bye, bye everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers.